Hey, Julie here with PaperBeatCrafts.com and today I'm going to show you a solution that I came up with st for storing my pens, pencils, markers, uh, watercolor pencils, that sort of stuff. And it's right handy, right in my desk, and uh, you're going to discover that I'm not really the kind of artist that draws stuff. I actually draw abstract uh, designs that I use for my paper bead sheets. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so as you can see on my desk, I have a whole bunch of markers and colored pencils and other things. Well, let's see, colored pencils, markers, and actually these are twistable colored pencils and Sharpies and all sorts of stuff, and they don't actually really have a home right now. So I'm going to show you what I found to actually organize them and keep them all in one place. Um, I had been keeping them all over the place. They were everywhere. Uh, but now I figured out what I can use. And uh, I'm going to scooch over here and I'm going to show you that uh, in my desk, my desk is kind of a mess a little bit, but in my desk I have this little cabinet here. And what this cabinet here is actually for a CPU, uh, a box with a computer in it. Well, as you can see on my desk, I actually have one of those all-in-one computers. And uh, so I don't really need the CPU box anymore. So what I've done is I've got my... Um, boy, you can barely see that. Well, in there, I have a power strip. And I'm going to push that out of the way, and I am going to put some storage containers in there. And I'm going to pan over here to the left and show you what I have. I have this thing. These are five drawer cabinets. This is by Sterilite. And they're the perfect fit to fit inside that cabinet. And uh, I bought two of them, and they stack perfectly, they fit perfectly. And I'll be working on that, and I will be right back. Okay, so I was actually able to fit those two drawer cabinet things in there perfectly. And I have not filled these up yet with um, my markers, but uh, they are an absolute perfect fit. And uh, the next job I'm going to do is fill them up. Okay, so I have finished moving all my markers and pens and pencils into the cabinet with all the little drawers and just to let you know I used my labels uh, I have a brother label maker uh, with the what's it called um, P-Touch label software on my computer so I use those to make the label and use my cat, cat frame that is in the software that I use for labeling all my stuff um, because cats are my thing. But anyway, I put them in the order of how how often I use them and I filled every single drawer. I didn't realize I had ten different items. So I have my regular Sharpies on the top. The second one are the brush type Sharpies. See regular Sharpies? I made sure that the caps are in the front so that I can easily see what I've got and I can just pull it out. And then I have my brush type Sharpies right here. These are those big brush style. And uh, I'm not going to bother taking the cap off because i got the camera in one hand. Okay, and then I have my fine point Sharpies in this third drawer. Same thing, the caps where I can see them. And then this next drawer is, these are colored pens Pilot G2 7 point. Um, and these are great for... You know, they're, they're actually colored pens that are fun for doing tangle type stuff in colors, like Zentangles. Okay, the next one is the, a different brand name. It's, it's called uh, Zebra Sarasa, and that's also 7 point. And I just wanted to compare the two, and I like both of them. Okay, then the next one, these are just plain old permanent markers with a broad tip on them. And these are made by Art Color, nothing fancy. And then the next one, these are my Crayola markers, just one size, and 
you know, I bought, I, I ended up with two boxes, which I didn't realize. So then, then the next drawer, I've got colored pencils. I've got the twist, the twistables, and then the regular colored pencils by Crayola. And then the next drawer are watercolor pencils, again by Crayola. You see, I am not the type of artist that um, I really need the, the fancy ones. I'm not that kind of artist. I just do it for basic stuff. And then this drawer here, this is for doing Zentangles stuff. Uh, these are made by Sakura, and they are Pigma Micron in different sizes. Those are for doing Zentangles. That's what's recommended. So, And that's the type of drawing that I do. I do the type of drawing that I can use in my paper beads. So it's nothing fancy. I don't need shading or anything like that. And this suits me just fine. And that's basically what I wanted to show you today. And uh, it was really the storage solution that I figured out what to do with all my markers and pens and pencils. So that's what I've got. And it fits everything I have. And I have room to grow with each type. I can buy more and just stick them in those drawers. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Goodbye.